Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Regina. I am the author and illustrator of the all ages horror graphic novel, The Sleepover. And in this video, I want to talk with you about how I learned way back at the beginning of my comic book career to start seeing my day job as the greatest asset I have in pursuing my career as a comic book artist and writer. To do that, I actually want to walk you through a little bit of my own journey that took place years and years ago and how I went from seeing my job as like the worst thing I had to deal with on a daily basis to the greatest thing that was helping me further the kind of career I hope to have in building books and creating things and eventually leading to the Adamsville series uh, and creating my first graphic novel, which was Adamsville Book One. And before I launch into that, just kind of a quick um, recommendation. If you'd like to check out Adamsville, I'm actually giving away the first book as a PDF for anyone who signs up for my newsletter. There's a link in the description below. I don't send a ton of emails out, but every once in a while I like to let y'all know about some sort of uh, specific tool I've created or a new kind of uh, document or book in this case that I just want to give away to anyone who uh, cares enough to sign up for that list. So if you'd like to get access to that free PDF of my first Adamsville book, the book that I made in this whole story that I'm about to share with you, sign up in the link below. You'll get an email that has links to all of the free content that I've given away to email subscribers. So anyway, back to the story. So 10 years ago, you probably actually would have found me sitting in my car in a very depressive state during my lunch break, dreading walking back into the building and continuing my day because I saw my day job as the biggest hindrance in accomplishing what I hope to accomplish. And so the first thing that sort of shifted for me in seeing my job as an asset was actually that change in perspective. I began to ask myself, you know, at that time I was so, I was like, why am I here? What am I doing? This is such a waste of time. I was just looking, I was clawing for every way to get out of this job and find a way to make a living at my art. And it was destroying me of all joy. And much worse than that, it was actually keeping me from really making genuine progress in the career I wanted. Because not only was I uh, seeing my day job as keeping me from accomplishing my goals as a writer, I would, I would look at that and say, there's such a hill here in creating graphic novels that why even bother unless I can quit my job and do it? Or I was looking at it going, ah, well, you know, if I'm stuck at this day job, I might as well go ahead and find another job within the uh, art industry, either painting or drawing or working for a company or something like that. So the first thing I did is I sat back and I said, well, what if, what if I actually saw my job as freeing me up to have the time and the money to do the kind of art I would like to do. So I started seeing my job as actually funding the pursuit of the kinds of career I wanted to have by simply taking money off the table and allowing me to focus on whatever it was that I saw as truly important. So at the time, if, uh, if I was talking to my wife about art and stuff, I might say to her, you know, I'm looking at a job at working for Disney or whatever the case might be. And I started saying, well, you know, if I'm going to succeed in this, really the only thing I want to really be truly good at is making comics and writing and telling my own stories. And so I said, well, one, why can't I just start doing that? I can start telling my own stories. I have a lot more time than I probably think I do, which is pretty true of all of us. And so what if I stopped pursuing all these other art jobs, you know, these commissions, these, uh, you know, trying to put together portfolios for this thing or the other thing. And I just simply said, what if I saw my job as taking the financial pressure off of me to free me up to pursue the work that I genuinely find meaningful? And when I began doing that, I suddenly realized I was like, well, well, hey, you know, actually, I don't have to stress out too much about, you know, money and all these things, because this day job is giving me this, this, um, you know, the income that I need to be able to provide for my family. So with this sort of basic need off the table, I'm now free to look at the rest of my day and go, well, how do I want to use this time to make a little bit of progress on my books every single day? And that's exactly what I started doing. I started um, going, well, uh, I've got this, all this time outside of work now that I was maybe using to pursue to like build up a portfolio or to try to get commission gigs or whatever. And instead I was like, what if I just use all that time to work on the comic? That brings up the next thing, which is that how you can actually use your job to literally create the projects that you're working on with the time that you might have there. I think of the author Brandon Sanderson, who's like, you know, a gigantic author at this point. And he often tells a story about early on in his career, what he did is he actually 
purposefully sought out a job that gave him tremendous amounts of free time so that he could write. And so that would be a job, I think in his scenario, it was that he was the front desk clerk for a hotel in the night shift. So like literally like no one's around, it's middle of the night, there's nothing for him to do but sit at the front desk and wait. And so he would work on his books during this period of time. So if you wanted to, if you're not in a, a job uh, situation that you particularly like or whatever, you can seek out jobs that give you that sort of flexibility and give you the time so that you can be productive while being paid and still being a good employee for the company. You know, for him, it, he basically saw it as this job is funding. This job is, I'm, I'm actually working as a, a writer all day and this job is paying me. Um, obviously, this doesn't apply to everybody's job and certainly don't get yourself in trouble. You need to be a good employee. Uh, otherwise, you might get fired and that's no fun for anybody. And thirdly, your day job can actually teach you different skill sets that are tremendously helpful in all broad uh, aspects of being a, a creator. Some of the things that us artists are terrible at are things like productivity, organizational skills, self-management, these sort of things. They are not skill sets that we're generally uh, driven to, but I learned real early on that if I wanted to make books and stuff, I had to actually begin to learn to see myself as more of like a project manager or a director or something like that, where I'm managing this big project over a broad period of time. And I started looking at the jobs I had and going like, is, are these jobs actually teaching me skill sets that could be applicable in other areas? And I remember this actually early on where I had stepped into a job where I was suddenly now responsible um, for managing my own day. I was no longer in these situations where I was sitting around waiting for somebody else. I was now in a situation where literally every minute of my day was managed by myself and trained by myself. Like I had to, to generate my own work, my own calendar. And I started getting a little bit overwhelmed with this because I wasn't particularly good at it and I wasn't sure how to time block and I wasn't sure how to do any of these things. And so I started teaching myself productivity, which is like why I'm really obsessed with productivity as a general thing. And I want to talk a little bit more on this channel about it is because I began to realize I was like, if I hope to succeed, not only within my job here, but as a creator, I need to learn to be organized. I need to learn to be disciplined. I need to learn to take advantage of my opportunities and, um, and use my time well. And so that's one example of that. But also I think of like when I was in more of a customer facing position, I learned how to interact with people. I'm also in very sort of like bureaucratic or, you know, highly interrelational creative, um, work at times. And I have to learn to have people management skills. Like how do I work with other people with di uh, differing opinions? How do I learn to be kind and generous with other people while I pursue my work and, and learn, learn to work within a team? And, you know, when I work within book publishing and stuff, I have editors, I have uh, creators, all these people who I'm working with that I need to make sure I'm on the same page with. And these sorts of skill sets have translated like all over the place. So you might find that your day job, if you're looking close enough and if you're paying attention, that your day job actually gives you a lot of skills that can translate into helping you be a better and more creative artist. Now, lastly, I want to make sure I'm being uh, honest here. You know, some people genuinely do not enjoy their jobs. It's not good for them. They genuinely feel trapped. And I have been there too. I've had jobs where I'm like, I got to get out of here. This is not for me. Um, and all I would say there is there's nothing wrong with looking for new work. There's nothing wrong to, for doing with what's best for you. And I don't know everyone's situation. So these tips are really just here to encourage you to maybe shift your thinking and start looking, uh, start thinking about what do I have control over? This is gonna be a constant theme in some of the videos I talk about is like, you can only control what you can control. And so you can control whether or not you stay at that job. You can control how you use your time. You can control how you perceive the job in your circumstances. Um, you know, it's like that, uh, that Gandalf quote, or, you know, the, I wish this hadn't happened to me. Well, none who, none do who live to see these times, all that matters is what we do with it. So we can't control always our circumstances, but we do have control over how we react to it. So I started thinking about my day job and rather than seeing it as something that made me a victim, like, oh, I'm not going to have this, this life I desire to have, but rather started seeing it as this is an opportunity for me to take what it's giving me, which is a stable living, giving me skills that I don't necessarily wouldn't have otherwise sought out on my own, 
and gives me uh, maybe time periods that I can work on these things and actually see it as something that is helping me have the ability to pursue the kind of art career that I have rather than as a gigantic hindrance to that process. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you've enjoyed this content, I actually, my most popular video on my channel is this video right here about how I create graphic novels and still have a full-time job. You might find some interesting tips in there. Anyways, I look forward to talking with you all more next time and um, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.